Second World War. So it's just here on your left hand side. Now the memorial itself is actually overlooking the valley of where the men trained to become the commandos. So it is a rather fitting place. Now of course I did just also point out the Ben Nevis range to you guys. Now Ben Nevis is actually the UK's largest mountain and the summit sits at around 4,413 feet above sea level. Now it does take roughly around six hours to climb Ben Nevis altogether and unfortunately people have lost their lives due to lack of an experience before. Now, in the middle of the 1800s, a man called Hugh Monroe actually set out to find every Scottish mountain. Now, unfortunately, he died before he completed this. So two people took on this challenge themselves called Colum and Mackenzie. Now, between all three of them, they actually found 282 Scottish mountains over 3,000 feet tall. Now, those mountains are referred to as Monroes, and if you climb all 282 Monroes, you get your name put in a book and also a t-shirt, which I only found out the other month you actually have to pay for that t-shirt. <laughs> now, as I did also just point out the Commando Memorial to you guys, I actually want to tell you a little story about a famous commando called Johnny Romensky. <laughs> now, Romensky, he grew up in an area of Glasgow and uh, he was constantly in and out of trouble from around the age of 11. Now, he soon started making his living as being a burglar, but as he started getting older, he soon started gaining this incredible physical strength. So he started making his living as being a safe cracker. Now, by the time that Romensky reached the age of 18, he was now serving time in prison. Now, he served time in Peterhead prison. Now, Peterhead Prison is actually one of Scotland's toughest prisons. But, during the Second World War, Romensky was actually offered a pardon from one of his sentences. And this was to basically put his expert knowledge of explosives and safe cracking to good use. So, Romensky was brought out of prison and he was brought here to Fort William for a special commando training. Then once Romensky finished his commando training, he was then dropped behind enemy lines in France, and this was to put his expert knowledge of explosives and safe cracking to good use. So, Romensky then, when he returned from war, when he returned, he shared everything that he learned. So, of course, he became a world-renowned hero. 